The flooding happened early this morning. It was at 100 Van Ness Avenue. San Francisco police say they found a naked man standing next to a broken pipe. Cron First Taylor Basaki has the details. A restoration company and multiple cleanup crews are on site at this building 100 Van Ness on Tuesday. Multiple residents say that someone had some sort of episode and caused damage to the walls and pipes on the 11th floor. They say that caused major flooding throughout the building. Dozens of air movers and dehumidifiers laid out inside San Francisco's luxury apartment building 100 Van Ness. Residents say they woke up to heavy flooding and a loud alarm around 5.30 Tuesday morning. It's just completely wet and I started going into panic mode. We start running to like a stairwell. We look at the left stairwell, completely flooded, as in like you can't even walk down there. You'd be swimming, right? So we checked the right stairwell. That one's a little bit dry, but it's still real bad. Savindoshi and other people living here say the flooding began on the 11th floor, but caused water damage to the floors below and the elevator, forcing everyone living on all 28 floors to use the stairs. As of right now, there are crew in there working. So the, the, the elevator is just completely shut down. And also, um, it's pretty flooded where everything is drained out to the parking garages and even on the level floor, on the first floor. So there are a lot of caution signs. San Francisco police say they arrested 46-year-old Michael Nine on suspicion of vandalism to the building that caused the flooding. When officers responded, they say he was naked, drenched in water, standing next to a broken pipe. Residents say there were several holes in the wall. I know someone got arrested and that they caused the pipe or something like the 11th floor. I don't know why or the intention. Doshi says he immediately thought about the high-rise apartments at 33 Tehama, which experienced a water main failure in June, sending 20,000 gallons of water cascading down all 35 floors. Residents there aren't expected to return home until next year. Meanwhile, people living at 100 Van Ness are anxious for any sort of update or information from building management. Have residents received an email or anything? No, not at this time. I haven't gotten any notifications. Several other residents that I spoke with say they feared that this might be another 33 Tehama situation. They say they haven't heard any updates from building management. We also reached out to them for comment about what exactly happened and how many people may be affected but have not heard back as of Tuesday evening. In San Francisco, Taylor Bisaki, Cron 4 News.